sorry sudah assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning hey, sorry a very good afternoon okay uh, i just want to finish the last part of our um uh, last part of our topic three okay and i also promising to you all that i will uh, actually uh, will uh, teach you on part of uh, on how to calculate on the remuneration cost right so uh, as you can see from here uh, we do have the how to prepare an organizational plan so number one we have two steps in uh, preparing an organization plan which is that we have the introduction to the organization uh, to develop an organization chart uh, to prepare a list of the administration personnel and to develop a schedule of tasks and responsibility and Number five, to develop a schedule of remuneration. This one I will teach you on how to calculate on this remuneration cost and to determine the, the office equipment and also supplies and to prepare an administration budget. So as you can see, um, uh, in here has been stated, if you still remember, because the last part uh, we stopped at, uh, if you still remember this one, right? Under the organization structure. So, um, it's only just a few parts in here, okay? For the introduction, state the vision, mission, and the objective of the business organization. And then, of course, the business vision will help to how to prepare the small business to plan for the future. Of course, the vision is good for vision, the future goals, and the mission is goals with the current goals, okay? So, business mission is a statement that shows the purpose of the reason for its existence. And mostly business objectives are short-term planning characterized by a small specific segments with definite time frame and use a smart concept. As I've been told in the previous class, if you still remember, specific measurement, uh, accessibility and also achievable. And then we also have realistic and also timely. And also we have uh, include the following business address, location plan, types of building and infrastructure. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. So the the most important part is actually I want to share on uh, here, okay, this one I already shared in the last class, if you still remember, uh, how the organization chart based on the shift number of workers, function, products, regions, and clients. I just recap back. Uh, so this is already been discussed in the previous uh, class and previous record version video, okay. I already done on part here, but today is the most important on the part of how we want to do, uh, yeah, this one you can actually Google but don't copy and paste, try to change a little bit the sentence and it's about task and responsibility. What is the, the role as the managers of uh, finance, managers of, uh, we have four, right? Managers of administration, managers of marketing, managers of uh, operations and also managers of the financial uh, and account and also the task and responsibility, okay? And you have to put into the table Okay, this one, develop a schedule of remuneration. Okay, by um, this one is, uh, if you do not know what's mean, actually the schedule of remuneration is how the company allocate a certain of budget on their personnel, how much they want to pay for their salary for their managers and to make sure that uh, the managers will be have some portion that have to pay obligatory. For example, like, uh, EPF, Employees Provident Fund, for 12% and also for the SOXO is 2%. So today, uh, I will just uh, show to you all on how to calculate on that. And then uh, later, for those who are answering question number six in your uh, exercise, you may continue after this. I only just a short while in today. Um, so you can start to do after I teach this one, right? Okay. And the last one, you will put the schedule of the remuneration inside this table, okay? And then um, I just finish it first. Huh? After this, I will go for the calculation. Okay, and then the last part, determine the office furniture and the fitting. Uh, the reason is to list all the office furniture. For example, you have tables, you have desktop, you have computers, you have chairs, everything single you have to list it according to, this is in the business plan, huh? not your entrepreneur's profile business plans. And you have to list it down. Actually, you have the another part business plan that you have to follow the guideline inside that to start with that project. And then the preparation of the administration budget, you have to actually classify it into the capital expenditure, fixed assets or cost, 
work capital, monthly expenses and other expenses put into the details like this. Uh, so you just list it out like here and then after you do calculation and transfer the amount inside here. Okay, that is this. Okay, so um, today I will go with, uh, uh, sorry, yeah. I will change a little bit on, yeah, here. Yep. Okay, I will share you, okay. So this is the part of the calculation for remuneration cost that I promised to you all that I will teach you, okay. So the first one, in order to have this, let's say maybe I should put like uh, indicator like, um, sorry, maybe like here, this is A, I don't want you to confuse A, maybe I should. This is B. Okay, to calculate E, okay, what you should do is, I think that this table is quite, okay, I only just give one example, huh, in order to calculate E, A will minus with C plus D. Okay. This is the formula. So to make sure, B also you have to calculate because that is also counted as the marks. Okay, let's say you have the supervisor for two person in here. So how to calculate this? This is 3,500 for supervisor is for one employee. So what you have to do, you have to times, sorry, you have to times with two. So equals to 7,000. Okay. The one that I highlighted you here to make sure that you know how to calculate. Okay. And 30%, 13 means 30%, right? Okay. Times with 3,500 equals to how much you get? Maybe I have a... Uh, okay. If you ask me how you get 13 here is 13% and 3,500 is from here. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Let's say you get... 555. Five, five. Uh, sorry, 455. Five, five. 455 five is for one person. So you will times with two and then you will get 9910. Okay, 900 is for both because you have two. Okay, and then for the next one is for the employees. Okay, contribution for employees is 12% times with how much you will get. 420 times with 2 because 2 person is according to how much if let's say it's 5 times with 5 is 3 is 3 is 2 2 okay and this one you will get 840 right and then for 2 percent 0 0.02 times with 3500 how much you will get so sorry I'm going to get a little bit sick here 70. Okay, 70. 70 times with 2. Okay, so you will get 140. So, according to the formula above, okay, I told you what you have to do. E is equal to A minus with C plus D. So, only this, okay, A will be 7,000. You have to show it. Huh? If not, you cannot get the mark. In your business plan, this is how you want to calculate is also, okay? So, 7,000 will be divide, sorry, minus with 840 plus with 140, okay? So, equals to 7,950, is it? 50. So, how much you will get? 
I sit now, huh? I'm sitting in here. So you will get 607 6020. Sorry. Equals to 60. Yeah. So this is the end of the answer that you can get. So the rest I want you to calculate for the question number six. So you know how to answer it. Okay, I'm done for the remuneration course here today. And yeah, for those answer the question, uh, the submission is on this Malaysia Day 16 in online form. And please do ask all your group members and the leader will submit in the new. Make sure everybody is doing the job. For those who are free rider, please report to me. And I will do the some action on that. For that particular person who will not give the cooperation. Thank you. If they want to repeat this subject again, I'm okay. I'm doesn't mind. So you can welcome to repeat again if you not do my assessment. Thank you so much. And yeah, happy Malaysia Day. On Wednesday, we don't have any class. Huh? All right. The replacement will be informed later. Okay. Assalamualaikum. Thank you. Bye.